Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using REST APIs in SAP Build Apps v. Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone, what's up app builders? Ever feel like you app, uh, your app is stuck on an island all alone? You want to reach out to grab some cool data from outside world? Well, guess what? SAP Build Apps has your back with REST APIs. We are, take, uh, we are talking connecting your app to all sort of external data source like superhero gaining new powers. Think like think live products update, bringing in info or other uh, info info from other apps. It is all possible with REST APIs. Basically, they are a bridge between your app and awesome data party happening out there. So ditch your app isolation and get ready to build killer data power apps with SAP Build App. So for uh, that, what you need to do is we have to come to SAP Build Lobby, and here you have to create a new back uh, new application. Click on build an application, SAP build apps, then web and mobile application, then name your project. Let's uh, name it as uh, data. Data rest data. Let's na name it rest data. Means we will getting data from rest API. I think spaces are not allowed, so I will remove spaces and description rest API and let hit on uh, create button. So our application will be loading so in meanwhile what we need to do is we need to go to google and like i have went on google and search for an rest api open source rest api from where we will getting data so yeah let's let me show you from where i got this rest api i think it is not loading so i will go back and i will search for Public. public REST API, see I have already searched it, we have to come here and there will be multiple options like multiple REST APIs which you can use throughout your application. So see there are uh, more of a many different genres from which you can select. I have I will use uh, from here jokes one. I will create a joke application which will give you joke of the day. So random joke. Here is the uh, URL through which you can uh, which you will use in your application to get your data. So see uh, I will copy this URL and I have tested it in our REST API uh, in our. Uh, postman services and it will be uh, it is giving me some data see whenever I, I hit this url in a get request it will give me a new joke every time see th the joke is different now and the joke will be different after i will hit the uh, send button so what you need to do let's uh, remove this text field and let's rename it as headline as joke of the day which is will be the name or, of our application and let's save it what you need to do first is uh, let's go to uh, data section yeah and you, when you will go down yeah here you will get app classic data entities create on create data entity now it, here it is given rest api integration yeah rest api integration here you have to come and give it a name let's give uh, jokes name of this uh, data entity and what you need to do is you have to copy the url from here Let's copy this and let's let, uh, paste here and let's save the data entity. We have saved the data entity and let's click again. And we want to get one record at a time because every day we want, uh, every time we want only one joke appears. We don't want multiple jokes to be appear at the same time. We want only one. So uh, we will not go to get collection. What we will do, we will go to get record. This will give us only one record to us. So yeah, we will come here. And here we will uh, write the rest part, random and uh, hyphen random jokes. Yeah, and let's test it. Let's give a random value to test. Like check uh, like what 334 ID of joke will be giving us. See, uh, a joke is coming, uh, something joke, some joke is coming. Let's not go to, uh, there. Let's set schema for response. So this is the schema of our API and let's save it. And let's save your application also. Come back to UI uh, Canvas. And let's drag and drop two input fields. Yeah, let's dra yeah, drag and drop two input fields. And 
what we need to uh, do uh, do now is let's create a uh, data variable which will hold data from our api so we'll come here we will go to data variable we will click on variable we will here we will be getting our entity name jokes we will click on that so we don't want collection of record we want only single record so see here, here an id is required it which is a mandatory field so for that what we will do we will create a page variable and let's name this page variable as id and let's save it and let's come back to our data variable click on here let's bind it with our uh, page variable go to data variable uh, uh, my bad so i think i haven't saved that so it is not come ah, so data variables it should be appearing in page variable i don't know why it is not coming in page variable data variable oh sorry uh, not it is not coming here let's go to page variable i don't think it is coming here let me see okay i have created a page parameter uh, i i used uh, i have to create a page variable by mistake i have created a page parameter so yeah i will create it now fix my mistake come to data variable we'll come here click on id go to data variable and now you will get a page variable which is set to id let's save it yeah we have saved it let's go back to our ui canvas and uh, let's come here and bind our uh, input fields so for label we will go to data variable which we uh, we will go to page variable uh, we will go to uh, we will go back again to data variable so yeah the schema which we have uh, uh set, which we have saved earlier when we were creating data entity is coming here so first we will choose uh, joke one dot setup it will give the setup of the joke and then again uh, sorry i do not have to create an input field i have to create text box my mistake two text box need to be created here yeah let's come back here let's go to data variable data variable jokes then setup so setup will be coming in uh, appearing first yeah and let's go back here and select the second text item go back again let's bind it again data variable and now we will choose punch line for every setup of the joke we will have a punch line for that so we'll click on save button and let's test it let's click on open preview pro uh, portal and launch our application see what will be happening here when we will be uh, here, click uh, testing application so yeah here is our application rest data so hopefully yeah see a joke is coming joke of the day uh, what did the house go to doctor it was having a window pane so let's refresh our application every time we will refresh the joke should be refreshing so see the joke again has been refreshed what does the female snake use for supporter a cobra so yeah that's all and what, what you can do it align it let's style it let's make it something different a big bold and go to layout and let's select layout as it, by default it is aligned to left let's make it center to make it more appealing yeah let's save our application yeah we have saved our application joke of the day is coming here and joke is coming here yeah that's all for the video we have integrated rest api in our application thank you for uh, watching this video